Are you tired of paying for Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and all the other subscription services vying for your money every single month? Today I'd like to introduce you to Jellyfin, an open source media server that you can host your own movies on completely free. This is what it'll look like once you get it set up, and you can see all the movies are categorized, recently added by action, comedy, drama, all the different types of movies that you may have. When you do want to play one, the nice thing about this is you can access the movies from your computer, from your cell phone, cast it to your TVs, or even remotely anywhere in the world. So how do I get these movies set up onto Jellyfin? Well, what I'd used is a NAS, or Network Attached Storage. This is essentially a huge external hard drive for your computer, but the nice thing about it is it's always on. So your computer doesn't have to be on. You can still watch your movies anytime, day or night. It's just always ready to go. Another nice thing about the NAS is it will always back up your files. So if any of the hard drives die, you still won't lose your media. What I'll do is source the movies through Facebook Marketplace, Sometimes people are moving out of town, they don't want to carry their old DVD collection with them anymore, so you can scoop them all up at a low price. I'll also look on Craigslist, or you can buy the movies brand new. I've sourced a lot of movies through eBay as well. To get the movies onto the NAS, I'll use a external CD-ROM drive to rip the movies using a program called Make MKV. This will give you an MKV movie file, and you can use Handbrake to encode the movie into mp4, which is a smaller file size and saves you storage space. Now both of these programs are completely free to use, so it's, it's nice. Another program that I do enjoy using is called Topaz AI. This is an AI image upscaler and video upscaler, so if it's a DVD, it'll typically be a small file and it won't look as good on a big screen. So Topaz AI will basically take the movie and enhance it to a higher resolution so it still looks good and is smooth. It's basically converting a DVD into a Blu-ray using AI. It's wonderful. But it does take a lot of processing power from your computer, so you need a sort of high-end PC to upscale them, otherwise it'll take an incredibly long time. But you can just set it and forget it, let it run overnight, and wake up in the morning and things will be much better quality. And I'd like to dive in and show you some more features of Jellyfin that you can use that make it just a really nice program. Basically, once it can access your movies and realizes what they are, it'll pull all the metadata. So I didn't type any of this in. It's all pulled from movie databases and, and handled for me. Rating scores, and it'll tell you how long the movie will play for, and the end time, which is, is a pretty nice feature. It'll show you all the main actors in the movie, and if you click on them, you can see what other movies you have that they may be in, and then you browse around. It's a very nice program, and it's good at making recommendations for movies based on other movies that are very similar that you have. So she's all that. It's like a romance rom-com movie, and it's pulling all these other similar titles for you to watch. Another thing that's great with Jellyfin is you can categorize all the movies based on genre or whatever categories you like, and it'll automatically do it. So if I drill into fantasy movies, you can even subsort by all the other genres in here. You can group movies into different collections based on what you have. So I have a Godzilla collection of all these old Godzilla movies that I got in a bundle together. These thumbnails here are designed in Canva. Nice to have, give it a little flair. Another cool feature is it's a media server, so you can store anything on here, whether it be your own home video or videos that you shoot if you want to keep them and access them easily. It can also store ebooks on here, so I have different categories of ebooks, all the classic books that you can quickly download to your phone or your e reader and enjoy, or even pull it up on your computer and read the title. And the final huge benefit that you get by setting up your own media server would be that you always have access to your titles. Any streaming service at any time can pull movies from their collection, any service could potentially go out of business. So even if you purchase a movie, own it outright, you're essentially just renting a lifelong license for that movie. So if that company goes under, they can restrict access to your movie, to your content, 
when you set up your own server, you have all the movies. They're yours to keep, and no one can ever take them away from you. And it's empowering to know that you always have access to your content. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you decide that you want to set up something similar or you have set up something similar on your own, please leave a comment down below. Share with me what you've done or what you plan to do.